Hi everyone, we are back with another video on the ACSL Soten. And today we are going to be covering the built-in obstacle collision avoidance features. The Soten features a three-way obstacle avoidance system. So let's take a look at the system on board this drone that will help keep you safe in the sky. Even with collision avoidance on a drone, you still have to remain alert and aware of all of your surroundings. Obstacles may not properly be detected depending on factors such as lighting, visibility, and the shape or color of the obstacle. On the Soten, you have vision collision systems that will cover the front, top, and bottom of the drone. The system uses cameras and infrared sensors that are on the top and bottom of the drone to detect obstacles. The forward-facing avoidance detection uses a stereo camera that is able to detect objects at a 16-foot distance from the nose of the aircraft and recommends being cautious between 16 and 30 feet. But up to 30 feet is still in range. The detection system on top and the bottom of the aircraft has an infrared sensor to detect objects within the same 16 feet and up to 30 feet with caution. Now, depending on which remote controller you are using, there are different processes for activating the collision avoidance system. On the standard remote controller, at the top right of the remote, you will see a collision avoidance switch. Slide the switch to the on position to activate the obstacle avoidance. When an obstacle is detected to be closer than the collision avoidance distance, the aircraft will no longer proceed in the direction of the obstacle. The aircraft will climb to avoid the forward-facing obstacle, and once it determines that it is clear of the obstruction, the aircraft will continue to climb an additional six and a half feet before resuming the flight at the new altitude. The aircraft will not back away from obstacles. It will always climb up to attempt avoidance and continue the flight once it determines proper clearance. It's important to note that in order to have the obstacle avoidance feature activated, the collision avoidance switch must be turned to the on position. As always, you as the pilot are in control and command of the aircraft, and safety is your top priority. In the event of any kind of emergency, switch back to manual flight control and maneuver the aircraft away from any potential danger. When flying in manual mode, the collision avoidance feature is not available, so make sure you are aware of your area of operation. On the standard remote controller, you will see a display that will indicate the distance of how far the drone is away from the detected obstacles. You will see a graphic of which sensor is detecting it and how close you are to it. There's also a graphic of proximity, which shows a red distance icon, which means a close obstacle, a yellow distance icon, which is a mid obstacle, and a green distance icon, which is a distant obstacle. The distance icon without any color means clear airspace without any nearby obstacles. One thing that is important to remember is that there is not a collision system that will detect any obstacles to the left or to the right of the aircraft. Fly with caution when flying laterally to manually avoid any obstacles that may be in your way. We recommend flying with obstacle avoidance in the on position anytime you're flying around areas that have potential hazards. And remember, if the front and bottom vision cameras cannot see the obstacle, it will not avoid it. Flying in low light or at night will cause the vision sensors to be unreliable and could potentially lead to a collision or crash. To learn more about the ACSL Soten, you can visit us online at floridajonesfly.com by clicking the link in the description to see all of the ACSL offerings we have on our website. If you have any further questions, feel free to give us a call at 855-8-DRONES, or you can shoot us an email at info at As always, thank you so much for watching and enjoy your flight.